so like I said earlier, I kind of dabble and dabble in a couple of different things. Um, one of the newest things that I've taken on is uh, one of the newest things that I've picked up is uh, making bracelets. And the website will actually be out later um, this month. But here are just some of the uh, products that I have. So yeah, that's one of the things that I've uh, recently picked up. Anything that I see that I'm good at, I try to turn into a profit. Um, not just because, and and it's not just because I want to have a personal wealth. You know, money is nice. It can buy me, you know, a lot of things that I want. But I want to, I want to be able to create generational wealth for my future family to come. You guys don't know what generational wealth is. It's it's not only leaving money behind for your future family it's also leaving uh property and land for them for them to uh use for generations to come and also with the with these items that you're leaving you also need to leave um you also want to leave the knowledge on how to maintain the property and the land and the money so that it can continue to grow um, for me, that's like the biggest portion of the financial portion of the podcast is to teach people how to balance their pers their personal finances so that um, they're able to grow and then, you know, pass it along, creating that generational wealth. Um, with me, you know, going to, going to college, I acquired debt plus personal debt that I have. I've been working on reducing my debt significantly. You know, it's cut into, you know, a couple of things that I want, but I'd rather skip out on things that I want and pay off my debt so that I'm able to save more and to invest a whole lot more too. Now, don't get me wrong, I still get things that I want or do things that I want, but it's only when I've met a goal. Goal setting for me is a major part of how I'm managing a lot of different things. Um, I set small goals to accomplish a larger goal. So it makes it more manageable. If you guys have any uh, financial questions, please ask. I'll try my best to answer. So I just got back from getting some food. But I got two questions. One is from Sugar V. Um... And hopefully I'm getting this question correct. So they basically asked on my take of staying at a university or going back home and going local, if that was a good choice based on. I think going back home uh, to a local school is a great idea, but you also have to think about the you have to think about the schools and which one offers the better program and there, and Sugar V's case is IT. Now, for me, with IT, you can get a job anywhere as long as you have two things: one being that degree, and the other being the other being proof that you actually have the knowledge and skill set um, for the job in which you're applying for. Now, where you get your degree from, that typically doesn't matter as long as it's an accredited school. Now, going to a community college, you uh, you do get more of that personal one-on-one -on -one feeling uh, with your team. You don't have to compete as much uh, for the professor's time. They may have more time than a university professor may have. Um, another thing about community colleges is that sometimes you might actually get more financial aid um, from a university, I know sometimes, sometimes with the uh, university, the financial aid office do, they trip, they trip and they trip real hard. But with the the grants and everything else, um, but from my experience, the community college um, that I attended for like a semester, they did give me more grant money than the university. All in all, it's just doing some uh, some research, some background checking on the schools to see which one has the better program and which one is going to give you more money. While we're on the topic of financial aid, um, only take out 
what you need in student loans. Don't go over. Don't do it. Um, it's going to cause you a lot of heartache once you graduate. Six months after you graduate, when you have to start paying that back, yeah, no, don't do it. So there are two major types of loans, subsidized and unsubsidized. One taxes you while you're in school, and the other does not tax you until six months after. So one major tip I wish somebody would have told me uh, while I was in school is to pay at least $5 a month while you're still in school on those loans. Two reasons. One being uh, it'll cut down that interest that you have to start paying back those six months after. Second reason being it helps on your taxes. Uh, that's federal money that you could be either getting back or getting cut down off the money that you owe.